What's up, guys? Cody with Thompson Family Homestead. We're working on the uh, old 86 F-150 again today. And today I got my little buddy. Jace. Jace helping me. So let's flip the camera around and see what we're starting the day off with. And uh, get this thing lowered down. From the fender well to the floor, we're looking at about 33 and a quarter, maybe 33 and an eighth. So, pretty good gap there between the tire. Let's see if we can't get this thing sitting low. What you think, Jace? Yeah. Get her slammed down to the ground. Get her looking hot rod. What you think? Yeah. Where do, where do you think it's gonna be after we lower it? Um. What number? About an eight. A twenty-four. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty low. We might need airbags to get that low. But I think it. Wait, it's like. Wait. Let's see. About here, I think. I'm thinking maybe we'll be at. 29 mm -hmm. we'll see all right let's get the wheel off and start getting her torn apart get some jack stands under get some music going and the air blowing See how it's square? Mm -hmm. So that one's too small. Pick a bigger one. These are the bigger ones. Other other end. See is it? Try one more. Try this one. Fit nice and tight? Yep. Alright. Slide her on there. Got it. Alright. Now you look on the trigger and see where there's a. Yeah, I see the bottom. Hold on. Alright. See how there's a R and a F? Put your finger on the R, the top one. That's for reverse. And then hold on tight. And then pull the trigger. Here. Alright, put it back in there. Put it back in the square hole. Mm -hmm. Now push against it and then pull the trigger. Mm. There you go. You got it off. Like the bolts inside the end of it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. You can just set the bolt, see down there on the bottom of that chair? Mm -hmm. That's where you can put all your all your loose nuts and bolts so you don't lose them. Mm -hmm. ah. Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty heavy, it's heavy duty. Make sure she's on there all the way. Do the bottom ones. It's a little easier for you. The bottom? Yeah. No, you, yeah, you had it on there. The bottom one? Yeah. 
and you twist it a little bit till it goes on. Oh, you're already on. There you go. Okay. Now. Now, yeah, pull the top of the trigger. Nice. Whichever one you want. I'm gonna try this one. There you go. Nice. Alright, now we gotta get her jacked up in the air. So we don't so we don't bend any of the lugs because now the truck's only resting on three lugs so you want to go around to the back and jack the jack up all right go jack it up just don't hit the bumper See, our tire's off the ground now. Now you can do the other ones. Let's get a let's get a jack stand underneath it. Look, right there by that motor. See that red? All right, now we're safe. All right, so we got the uh, spring under the axle now. What I did was just unbolt the spring right there on the bottom bolt on that hanger. And then I unbolted the front of the spring right here on this front hanger and put a jack stand to support the frame so the uh, axle you know it's free floating and then I uh, unbolted the springs kept uh, my jack underneath the axle so it wouldn't just drop and then uh, jack the axle up a little bit and to relieve the tension on the spring and uh, undid my yule bolts around the axle and then just pulled the spring out and it was originally you know on top of the axle here so i just unbolted front and back pulled it right out the you know the side of the truck and then cleaned the axle up cleaned all the bolts up and then just put it underneath the axle this time and you know flip your yule bolts 
and then on your axle perch under there, you have to drill a uh, hole about a uh, half an inch to three quarters of an inch forward of the existing little hole that's in your spring perch to allow for the uh, new angle that the axle sits there. But, and then uh, in my kit, it comes with this little block uh, right here. Can't hardly see it, I know, because of bad lighting. But anyways, you slide that little block underneath the axle and it locks into your old spring perch and allows you to mount the axle underneath. I mean, excuse me, mount the spring underneath the axle. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get the tire bolted back on and drop this side so I can switch to the next side. And uh, when I get those parts pulled off, I'll give you a little better breakdown of the parts and what I'm talking about. But let's get this back on and drop her down. All right, I got my other helper helping me with the passenger side lowering. And I'm taking off a tire. You're gonna ooga dooga the lug nuts? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if you can do it. Two hands. Hold on tight, press the button. Yeah. <laughs> Here, get right in front of it. Get up, get closer to it. Here, let's put both on. Turn it like it. There you go. Where'd the nut go? Right here beside you. Thank you. All right, see so if you can get the next one. I want Jace to get the next one. It's like a pattern. All right, y'all sw take turns, Jace. Hmm. Your turn. <sighs> Should I do which one? This one. It's like a pattern. I don't want you. All right, scoot over, Byron, so you can get, so you can hold it good. Twist it, make sure it goes on. It's right. We're gonna have to get a little help there you go. with the um, last right. one because it's gonna fall. Hold it down. No. That one's on there tight. Try that one again. Brian, try that one. Two fingers. There you go. Hold it down. Just hold it. You can you can rest your shoulder in it if you want. There you go. Keep going. All right, press the button. Tap it on the ground. You want me to try? There you okay. go. Okay, Jace. Here you go. Your time to shine. All right, here, Jace. Thanks. I need, need, need a little help. Here, Jace. Here, Jace. Here, Jace. Here, Jace. Y'all can pull the tire off. Oh, I got. Oh, hold on. Hold don't, 
Don't put your hands on the back. Just grab the front of the wheel. There you go. There you go. All right. Now roll her, roll her back there, underneath the back of the truck. I'll do it. All right, guys. So here's the uh, OEM perches that come on our trucks, and this is the new perch that I received in the lowering kit. But I'm just gonna use the uh, old ones because I've seen guys modify them, and uh, I did it on the driver's side, and it worked perfectly fine. So. I'll be able to throw these in the uh, stockpile and keep them for a future build. Maybe I'll find, uh, get a truck that's got some bad purchase too rusted out or whatever. But I uh, always try to reuse whatever original stuff I can before I go using the new equipment because there's really nothing wrong with it. Once all this hole is, is locates the uh, leaf spring in the right position, it really is not too much to do with strength, but I'm just gonna use this new perch as a template like I did on the other side. I just line it up, put you a mark right there so you know exactly where to drill your center hole. And uh, I like to use these step bits cause it's quite a large hole. I didn't have any uh, just regular old drill bits that big. So anyways, let me get this marked up, drilled up and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So there you can see, just locate the hole a little forward fur further. And uh, when you install it, it sits on the leaves at the right angle. Looks like it's a uh, top, it's the top notch, which is three quarters. So you got yourselves a three quarter inch drill bit Check that up in your drill and full sender and uh, perch will, should fit on there good for you guys. Well, here's the final product. I think she looks really good sitting down. Really happy with how it turned out. I think it gives the truck a whole new attitude. So that's three inch drop coils in the front. I'm gonna have to go get it aligned because tires are cambering in a little, but that's expected. And uh, I did the foot kit in the rear and I actually ended up installing two inch drop shackles as well because I didn't want any rake in the rear I wanted the truck to sit perfectly level I'm just not a big rake guy I think the, uh, the front actually might sit just a little higher than the rear but once those new coils settle into place should be exactly level but I'm really happy how it turned out uh, awesome lowering kit for the price can't beat it but uh, thanks for checking out the video guys hope uh, hope these videos help some of you guys Give y'all a little shot of the interior for the people that haven't seen it. It's a little dirty. 
Not bad for an 86. Still got the original manual. She looks pretty good. Let's see if we can't pop the hood on her. Fire her up for you. I went with the uh, Chevy style HEI distributor, Elderbrock AVS2 carb, one inch spacer, Elderbrock breather, and then uh, just dressed the valve covers up with a little chrome. And uh, the AC was working when I got it, but uh, I took the hoses off and the pump just to give me a little extra room when I installed this uh, wine intake manifold i like to put that back on there eventually and get the old ac hooked up and running but anyways guys i'm happy with her she's coming along got the major stuff knocked out next project is uh got to get underneath and change the transmission pan gasket because as if it sits for a while it starts to leak and uh other than that, she's running good. I'm gonna replace the front brake lines. They're a little worn out and dry rotted. So start doing the uh, old safety stuff on her. Give her the safety inspection. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate y'all checking these videos out. And like I always say, I hope it helps somebody out. That's where I get all my ideas and help is YouTube. Because Google, uh, Google only helps so much. But anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for checking us out. Bye.